It's a Wisconsin tradition. It's a wonderful early bird adventure. Oh, there's a crane. Where? It's flying. <laughs> See it? It's low. Yes. yes, right there. OK, so mark that in that quadrant. It's the crane count, the annual Midwest crane count. Oh, I see another one flying. Where? Over there. Once a year, on a Saturday in April, for two crack of dawn hours, 5.30 to 7.30 a.m., they count. That would just be a C, because you just heard one, right? Yeah. Yep, great. So we've got three so far. Yep. They count sandhill cranes. Binoculars first went up on this bird back in 1976 in Columbia County. That count was sponsored by the International Crane Foundation in Baraboo. Now the count has been expanded to involve more than 3,000 volunteers in 100 counties in five states. Um, I'm waking up. This early morning in Jefferson County, volunteer Hallie Kersher Henning of Madison and her mom, Claire Kersher, joined longtime friend Diane Walder of Madison and her nephew, Devin McCune. They were assigned to count four quadrants in Zalosky Marsh. Here's the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> that was promised a long time ago, right? <laughs> they were guided by veteran birders Nolan Kolath and Ed Grunder of Lake Mills. The day starts before dawn with a quick class in crane calls. OK, here's Sandhill Crane. Do you hear the two different tones there? That's a, that's a unison call. So that means they're calling back and forth? Well, they're right together. Okay. They're doing this right together. It's a pair. It might seem a little dark to be bird watching. Hear the two different tones, up and down, OK? That's not one crane, that's two cranes. But veteran bird watchers, like Kola, don't need to see the bird. It's that little toot, do you hear that? That's it? Yeah. They ID that. primarily by call. Um, that there, that's the red one, right part. That is? Yeah. Right there. How'd you done? It's a matter of listening as much as watching. Listen to this. What do you hear out there right now? I hear song sparrows. I'm hearing red winged blackbirds. I'm hearing grackles behind me. That's the song sparrow again. Kill deer. Which is why sound, the calls, the songs of the sandhills are used, in addition to sightings, to count the birds. We've had a unison pair calling up there twice, and now no, we've had No, it's more this. like three times. It's three times three up there? Now. And now we've got a call here. Devin's getting lost. Yeah. Of course, cranes fly. So how do you count them, and count them only once? The volunteers note if they hear the cranes or if they see them. They note the time and the direction the crane is flying through each of their assigned quadrants. The process is not completely precise, but it does give a picture of the population of this amazing bird. Once you hear the uh, call of the sandhill crane, it's just, it's in your blood. So I look forward to that every spring. You know, hearing that first crane, and it's very exciting. The harbinger of spring. And when I was a kid, we didn't see them. They were hunted close to extinction. I think I was probably in my 30s before I saw my first one. And I didn't even know what it was, and I'm a bird watcher. I heard the call, and I didn't know what it was. And it was just incredible, that comeback story, success story. The Sandhill Crane Count had just dwindled to such low numbers. The numbers now are, are just incredible how they've come back. This bird was nearly gone in the 1930s. It's estimated that Wisconsin had just 25 nesting pair. With the right habitat, it's taken off. The most recent count was over 13,000 in Wisconsin. Habitat matters. This place, Zalosky Marsh, is a testament to that. We're looking at the incredible uh, restoration in progress. 
It was a wetland in the early 40s. It was drained and turned into a muck farm by the Zawowski family, and uh, it was potatoes and mint and onions were growing here for years. And then uh, in 2005, it uh, was purchased by the Madison Audubon Society. And the society set into motion this current day restoration. Drains were closed, basins filled, and the marshland returned. And so did the wildlife. Well, it's just been incredible. Pre-restoration, they counted 30 bird species out here. Those numbers have soared. In 2007, it was the first year post-restoration. We did weekly bird counts out here. We came up with 169 species. It's a uh, paradise. <laughs> It's a big water park for birds. It's a paradise for wildlife and wildlife watchers like myself. A paradise, reborn, and ready for the next generation to take up the binoculars. Hallie provides the final numbers. Well, today we saw 22 total cranes, and then last year they only saw 18, so we beat a new record by four. Um, and then last year there was five breeding pairs, and this year there's seven. So that's really exciting.